Instacart just debuted on the public markets, but one of the men who funded the delivery giant wasn't at the helm as it hit the markets. Recently, the founder and former CEO spoke exclusively to Forbes about his decision to exit the board as the company went public at a fraction of its 2021 valuation. Hi everyone, I'm Rose Marie Miller here with Richard Nieva, a senior writer here at Forbes. Thank you so much for joining me today, Richard. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So Richard, let's hop right in. Could you tell me who is Apoorva Mehta? Yeah, Apoorva Mehta is the founder of Instacart. He says he got the idea for the company after opening his fridge and finding nothing but a bottle of sriracha. Um, and he, he stepped down as CEO two years ago and handed the reins over to BG Simo, uh, who was a longtime executive at, at Meta, Facebook's parent company. Um, and he's he had been serving uh, as executive chairman of the board until Instacart went public this week. And so do we know why he stepped down as CEO of Instacart? There was a lot of controversy around his departure at the time. He had a contentious relationship with uh, Michael Moritz, who was a board member. Uh, the former boss at the venture firm Sequoia, which is Instacart's biggest investor. Um, and Meta addressed his departure publicly for the first time in, in his interview with Forbes. He said that he wasn't pushed out of the company, that he had been thinking about his own future for a while and what he wanted to do. Uh, and he started a digital health company and said he wanted that to be his, his singular focus. You know, that seems to be a trend. Everybody's just thinking about their future. It's like ever since the pandemic, we're all trying to find our true selves. <laughs> but anyway, Richard, Instacart recently IPO'd, but Meta was hesitant about going public. Do we know why? That's right. Yeah, uh, Meta told us that he, he did want to go public eventually, but not right after the surge in business from the pandemic. Uh, he said that the user base had exploded at the time and the company's tech infrastructure had been stretched thin. Uh, the, C, the, the CEO of the company, uh, the CFO of the company had just left. Um, and so he told us that he, he didn't think that it was the right move for that moment. Mm -hmm. And how has Instacart's valuation fluctuated and how has Meta's network changed uh, all during this time? Yeah, it's, it's fluctuated a bunch. Um, after the pandemic, the valuation had ballooned to 39 billion in, in 2021. Then it was slashed to 24 billion last year, uh, and it went public this week at 9.9 .9 billion. Uh, Meta, uh, in January, Forbes estimated his Instacart stake to be at 1.3 billion, and after the IPO, uh, it's estimated at uh, 800 million. And why was Instacart once worth so much money? It was really this pandemic darling. You know, you remember back in 2020, we were all locked down in our houses because of COVID. Instacart, along with other companies like Zoom and, and Netflix, really became these important, uh, you know, for some people, essential services. Um, and that was really evident in its valuation. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, as, as lockdowns began to lift, people ventured out into the world again, the, the luster kind of began to fade. You know, maybe I am incredibly lazy, but a grocery store opened up kind of like right across the street from me maybe a year ago, and I've only been maybe five times. But you know, I used to use Instacart a lot during the pandemic, but now I'm all the way Amazon Fresh. Is there anything to that? Do you use Instacart? I did use Instacart during the pandemic, and I actually used Instacart, uh, you know, while I had while I had COVID. So, um, you know, I think there is something to it. Um, it, it. You know, it's it's incredibly convenient. How did Meta run Instacart while he was there, and um, how was he a leader, basically? Yeah, there have been reports that he was a hard charger, uh, that he had a chaotic management style and that he kept a, a tight grip on product development, which reportedly caused uh, employee turnover. Um, when I asked him about these claims, he said that he thinks that criticism is unfair, that it was you know, generally a chaotic time for the company as it dealt with pandemic growth. Um, that said, I spoke to some of Meta's biggest supporters and, and even they characterized him as, as stubborn. 
Mm -hmm. Ruled with an iron fist. Well, what is Meta working on now? Yeah, now he's working on a, a digital health startup uh, called Cloud Health Systems. It's not launched yet, so he was a bit mum when I asked about it. Um, but one thing to note is that there was a lawsuit filed against him and his business partner accusing them of copying the idea from another company. Uh, that company had that that lawsuit has been since settled and and Meta denies any wrongdoing. Um, but you know we're, we're we're sure to hear more about the company after it launches. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Richard. Thanks so much.